I might call myself a bisexual disaster, but in all honesty, I'm more of a bisexual mishap, maybe a bisexual fiasco at best. Hashtag with hard work and dedication, I hope to one day qualify as a bisexual catastrophe. <laughs> Hashtag probably just a bisexual inconvenience. Oh no. Legit bisexual apocalypse. Living the dream. <laughs> okay, not to word nerd all over my own post, but... No, 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 no. Okay, if there's one thing you're absolutely allowed to word nerd out over, it is word... Wait, words? <laughs> I have to share something with all of you. I've been super excited about this. I learned a new word recently, and it's not just any word. Some of you may know one of my favorite words is petrichor or petrichor, and it's the smell after it rains. Such a beautiful thing. But something else that I've been craving for years is a word for old book smell. And recently on stream, someone dropped by and said, hey, OT, did you know they finally named it? Biblicor. I love that. While the word apocalypse from the ancient Greek, what the fudge? That's a Pokemon. Missing no, missing no, missing known. Apocalypsis <laughs> is often associated with the end of the world due to its use in Christian eschatology. Its literal meaning is an uncovering of previous hidden knowledge, which means that technically coming out as bisexual is, in fact, a bisexual apocalypse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is on par with knowing that being bisexual means that you're technically a biscuit. <laughs> What's up, my beardos and weirdos? One topic here. And today we're diving into r slash bisexual, which is a very cool subreddit. If you ask me, you might have. I don't know. Maybe you did ask me. Who am I to judge? <laughs> I'm actually really excited to go into this one today. And I really hope that you like it too. This is one that I relate with quite a bit. And I have a feeling a number of you out there do too. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. Oh, you're bi? Why don't you buy me some time with a distraction while I crack this safe, you heckin' goon? <laughs> you got it, boss! Makes out with the bank teller and his wife! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this? Posted by False Spectre by Shy and Wanting to Die. <laughs> no such thing as a bisexual. Bisexual is just a stop on the way to being completely homosexual. Oh, weird. Longest layover ever. I met 22 years. Do you know when the train to gay town departs? <laughs> if you were the type of child that hoarded stickers because you couldn't commit to sticking them onto something and not be able to remove them in one piece, congrats, you're an anxious adult. I, I feel very called out. <laughs> I think everyone remembers the scratch and sniff stickers, and I, I, I'm pretty sure they're a number of people's favorites. Over time, you know, they do lose their smell. You scratch them a couple too many times, and then they're just something to look at, a, a quiet reminder of something that you've lost. But do you remember puffy stickers? <laughs> do you remember? They were so squeezy. Do you remember fuzzy stickers? I couldn't commit to putting them on anything. I'd have a whole sheet of them, and I knew whenever I had that sheet of puffy stickers, I could just go... This is nice. <laughs> oh no, I am a very anxious adult, oh no. <laughs> hey, my partner and I noticed you from across the bar and we saw that you aren't eating the pickle that came with your sandwich. <laughs> Can I have it? It's not the direction I thought it was going in. <laughs> Bisexuality was invented by exclusionist lesbians wanting to- I'm sorry, I probably should have just scrolled by because I don't want to be dragged into some weird ahistorical LGBT Tumblr discourse, but what in the fudge are some of you talking about? Bisexuality was actually made out of sourdough by a small Italian man in 1743. <laughs> oh my god. I love, I love that his picture is Bob's Burgers. <laughs> it's just perfect. Bob has immaculate bi vibes. <laughs> I'm ridiculous for not realizing I was bi before I was 29. I'm ridiculous for not realizing I was bi before I was 29. Other bi people realizing they are bi in their late 20s. 
<laughs> Over time, as we get older, we learn a lot more about ourselves. And even if you discover some things late, certainly later than other people who know when they're young, that doesn't make it any less valid. We're all on our own personal journeys, and there's no heckin' way they'd be this interesting if they were all the same. <laughs> well, it's late, you're to the rescue. <laughs> Bisexuals, when someone says goodbye. I don't know what it is about sitting in chairs and having both feet on the floor, but it's so uncomfortable and awful, and I'll never willingly do it if there's literally any other option. I don't... I don't even have both feet on the floor right now. <laughs> okay, I sit on I sit on one of my feet whenever I record an individual video. And you don't know this, but I <laughs> I recently got up out of my chair. My foot was completely asleep, and I didn't realize that. You ever you ever rolled your ankle from like you know to one side or the other side? Have you ever rolled your ankle this way? I did that recently. Cautionary tale, just give your feet time to wake up. I just... <laughs> Chairs are hard. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Now I know why it's here. Yep. <laughs> I mean, oh, that does look more comfortable than actually sitting in that chair. <laughs> when I have a date with a guy. Hmm. Versus when I have a date with a girl. Hmm. <laughs> I think this has to be one of the longest running jokes on the channel now. I'm just gonna leave it up, just in case anyone didn't get it at first. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> After studying the critical elements of Dow's business, guess what we're helping them save? By Lyon. <laughs> Thank you for saving by lions. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of the lions for coming out. <laughs> Reblog if you support saving by lions. <laughs> I would always be in support of saving a pride of lions. <laughs> I think choosing between men and women is like choosing between cake and ice cream. You'd be daft not to try both when there are so many different flavors. Bjork? Oh my goodness, Bjork. <laughs> I remember Bjork when I was a kid. What an interesting character they were. <laughs> God, are they still making music? Maybe? <laughs> my taste in women. Also my taste in women. Also, my tasty women. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Bisexuals can't sit in chairs, right? <laughs> Such a dumb stereotype. Who would believe that? <laughs> well, I'm bisexual, which means I have both the limp wrist condition and the I'm gonna lift all of these chairs by myself if it kills me syndrome. This explains some things. <laughs> I'm not homophobic. I don't hate gays. I just don't support that lifestyle or their choices. It's not a lifestyle. It's not a choice. Nobody is born lesbian, gay, black, or trans. Wait, whoa, no. <laughs> LGBT is a choice that directly counteracts God's plans for you. God loves you, and it hurts you when you disrespect him like that. It blows me away when people are like, Oh no, you were made in God's image as an individual. But not like that. No, you you have to be like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Due to personal issues, I'm going to be a bad bitch this summer. So hide your husband and wife because I go both ways. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of us here have seen this meme before. But look at this caption. Granny Smith is coming for everyone's apples. All right, I should be getting close to the ancient sacred texts. They say that the monks studied these texts for years, achieving inner peace and happiness. <gasps> there they are. All of the LGBTQ plus community is valid. Aw, I like that. <laughs> what a cute comic. The Bilociraptor. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, that, that made it even better. <laughs> I have no pronouns. I identify as a burden. <laughs> Tell me the truth. I, I'm I'm ready to hear it. I'm bi and don't like frogs. 
You monster. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not everyone has to like frogs. But if you don't, you're dead to me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but like, why though? Just if you don't like frogs. But why though? <laughs> Pantone picked ultraviolet as color of 2018. It's officially the year of cyberpunk bisexual lighting. Oh my good. Is that when Logan came out? Is that when what? Oh, oh, all of these movies are amazing. And they all had the same light. Oh my God. <laughs> Did they really all come out that long ago? I've been inside for too long. <laughs> Seriously, if you haven't Googled bisexual lighting yet, you really should check it out. Right? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> like, listen to me, please. Sexuality is weird. And if you try to define every crease and crevice of yours, you're going to have to either redefine yourself or repress something whenever you experience something that doesn't align with the label you've created for yourself. And I don't know about you, but having a sexuality crisis every time I find out something new about myself doesn't sound like a good time. That's a really good way of putting it. I have a number of friends who just aren't sure and they just kind of go with the flow and whatever seems right seems right. And I really admire them for that. I really admire that they feel free enough that they can just, you know, see what's good. <laughs> like Bjork, <laughs> like Bjork says. <laughs> There's just so much ice cream and cake out there. I don't know. <laughs> Saying bisexuals are more likely to cheat proves nothing about bisexuals. It just shows that you would cheat if you found someone who was willing to sleep with you and more attractive than your current partner and that you understand nothing about relationships. Damn, Jim. <laughs> Dang. I know this meme is known for solid logic, but that bears repeating. Was told to blind react. If you're gay and you know it, clap your hands. If you're gay and you know it, clap your hands. If you're gay, but you're actually bisexual, but you use the word gay because that way you don't have to explain a whole lot to people and there's no shame coming back at oh. you with biphobia and you don't oh. have to explain why you're dating multiple Older genders. Older partner. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, clap your hands. <laughs> uh, everyone just be chill, please. <laughs> Any boyfriend yet? No. Uh -huh. And what about a girlfriend? Oh, um, no. Why not? You're beautiful. <laughs> Aww. Supportive grandparents are literally the best. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shout out to all the people who identify with the gifted kid burnout syndrome who are probably just neurodivergent but weren't diagnosed as a child who used to devour books like it was nothing and never really understood why the protagonist would leave their cool fantasy world behind to go back home at the end of the story and who are now extremely disappointed in reality and use escapism as their primary coping mechanism. How's that bisexuality and deep rooted anger at the school system going for you? Whoa! Excuse me! I didn't expect to be mentally stripped naked like a chicken in this corner of Wendy's. Excuse me! <laughs> okay, I I have I have I have a question. Is being stripped naked like a chicken a common expression? <laughs> this is a Wendy's. <laughs> Telling a bi person they are straight and just wanting attention. Telling a bi person they are on their way to being gay. Huh. They're ready, everybody. He's about to do something stupid. Morning! And it begins like any other routine morning in the lives of millionaire Bruce Wayne and his ward, Dick Grayson. Ah, that was a good sleep. Come on, Dick, a cold shower, a big breakfast. And then down to the Batcave to repair the Batmobile. I'm way ahead of you. Alright, hold on. I know you might be thinking, hang on a second, are they sharing beds? Well, have you ever Googled Batman and Robin just like... Just general words like Batman Robin bedroom. I mean, <laughs> or like Batman Robin spa. I mean, <laughs> or Batman Robin spanking. I mean, <laughs> there's certainly there's. Oh my gosh. Can I even show this? I know exactly what this is. Look. Daniel Radcliffe is still casting spells. That's all I can say. <laughs> Child brings up trauma to parents. Parents! <laughs> yeah, that never happened. I don't remember that. And I I should know I was there and I'm your mom or, or, dad, or dad. I don't know who I've assigned this voice to. But <laughs> You know, we were both there. And in fact, neither one of us remembers it like that. But don't worry, you're probably just misremembering it because you were a child. <sighs> 
Asexuals, bisexuals, and pansexuals invade Canada, Denmark, and Sweden. Meanwhile, the non-binaries, <gasps> they're taking over the world. <laughs> okay, all right, don't think I haven't noticed that there's been a war on the bisexual subreddit between the asexuals and bisexuals. No, 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 don't think that got past me, okay? And y'all better make peace or I'm gonna... <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Although some of the memes are really silly and it seems like it's just a lot of people having fun, but like... <laughs> Behave. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos, that was our dive into r slash bisexual. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with this one. I think like all the other videos, there's always going to be emotional ups and downs as we go through, but I really hope that it helps going through them with someone because that's how I feel. I feel like I've got a lot of company when I go through these because I get to share them with you and that's more than half the fun. <laughs> all right, my beardos and weirdos, let me know in the comments what you want to see me cover next and we'll see you in the next one. Where we take it, one topic at a time. Roll that outro. Don't have any good shots. Watch out for the cannonballs. I'll patch. I got shot off our boat.